Hi, my name is Peter Wallace and this is the Shalom Peace and I'm going to um, do some more daring attempts with uh, my music ability tonight. Um, uh, first I'm going to sing a song called Kumbaya and then drift into another song called that is pretty famous and on Christian radio it's called God of This City. But I'm going to keep the Kumbaya sound and bring it over to the Chris Tomlin uh, song God of This City. And after that, I'm going to read a little Hebrew. This is just the book of Psalms uh, that I got. Um, this is the second book in Hebrew that I ever owned, and I'm really happy to have this. This is great for prayer. Um, I probably learned how to pray in the Psalms, that and the Our Father. So um, here we go. I'm going to, um, I'm going to attempt to put, it to put together these two songs. and uh, See if you like it. Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, oh Lord, Kumbaya. You're the God of this city, you're the King of these people, you're the Lord of this nation, you are, you're the light in this darkness, you're the hope to the hopeless, you're the peace to the restless, you are. There it is. Pretty simple, huh? Figured I'd better keep things a little sim more simple lately. So, anyway, um, now I'm going to read uh, for you this week. It's from the Book of Psalms. It's uh, my well, one of my favorite Psalms, Psalms 119 and uh, verses 9. It's in the second um, portion of Psalms 19. Psalms 19 is divided into 22 different parts. And, uh, um, uh, paralleling the or in conjunction with uh, the Hebrew alphabet. And this uh, portion or section is called Bet, um, the second letter of the Hebrew alph alphabet. This is a great passage. I'll talk about it a little bit after we get done. I have a note to read on it. Here we go. Bema vidzeche neer at erecho lo shemer kadabra ka betchalebi. The rush to have and take shakni me meds me meds belavi the fancy and marasecha lemain 
לא אחד צר לך ברוק את עשה יהובה, למד אני הכחייק, לכוכך, בשפט צי ספרת צי כל משפט פיך, בדרק עדות צייך שצי צי שייל של היום. בפה חודק אסיך ויבצע אברך חודציך ברוך חודציך אסיק תשע לא אשת שם או אשת שך דברך Uh, so, here we go. I'm going to read it in English really quick. Um, how can a youngster purify his path? By observing your word. With all my heart I sought you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. In my heart I have stored your word so that I would not sin against you. Blessed are you, Jehovah. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I recounted all the ordinances of your mouth. In the path of your testimonies, I rejoiced as much as in all riches. With your statutes, I occupy myself. I will not forget your word. So, uh, and then I'm going to um, read a note from Rashi uh, really quick. Rashi was uh, a master commentator, a rabbi on the Hebrew Torah and uh, scriptures. And what he says is, uh, in... The verse it talks about that uh, that the psalmist has stored in his heart um, the word of God. So Rashi says, "I have stored." The note on that: mere knowledge of Torah is not enough. Its its words must be meditated on and kept in the fore of one's mind. Only in this way will they produce the sal uh, salutary effect of refining one's character, conduct, and bringing him. closer to God. And I add a note uh, that um, this is a great passage because we see how we can purify our lives by um, abiding in God's law. By, uh, we can purify our ways by observing the Word of God. Also, I'd like to mention that if you, met, if you, read, the, um, if you read the Psalms, Um, not only will you get great instruction on how to pray and meditate and look into uh, the ways of the Lord, but you, you will also find every psalm mentions um, obedience to the law of God. Every psalm mentions um, knowing God's word, knowing his commandments, and the psalmist is talking about the Torah. So if, um, if we have a whole entire book of psalms, dedicated to um, glorifying God, uh, knowledge of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and uh, direction to follow the Torah, or follow the commandments of God, repetitively, all the, I mean, this whole entire book has instruction on, on what to follow, how to keep it, all of that, then, um, then we should, we should take this a little more seriously, I think, uh, than, than what I see in a lot of our communities today. Uh, uh, as a Christian, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to um, sound uh, 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 with an accusation. I just say that we should, t we should lean closer toward um, obedience than um, we, have, we have a lot of liberty in Christ uh, I'm, I'm not saying that we have all liberty in Christ. I'm, I'm just saying that the laws of God are what, what the structure of uh, life is um, in everything. Physical laws and moral laws, they are set up by God at the same time. They were set up um, at the same time. The, the same time God uh, set up the, the universe and those laws, uh, the same time we have... Uh, In our universe, at the same time, we have the moral laws of God, the Torah of God. Okay, um, that's uh, that's uh, quite a bit, I guess, for this uh, this uh, Sabbath or this uh, seventh um, week. Thank you very much. I um, I really appreciate your support again, and um, uh, I have people listening 
from different parts of the world, and I really appreciate um, your support. I love it. So God bless you. Barak HaKodesh, Yeshua HaMashiach, Ben Elohim, Tav